Hi everyone, this is Joe Davis with West End Architectural Salvage and Al and I were the two designers selected to help put some of these units at Homes of Oak Ridge together. Uh, there's other designers who are doing other apartments as well, uh, but they wanted a taste of some salvage and some repurposing, so come on in and we'll show you what we did. Right here you're going to walk into the living room and as you can see it's like we went with a neutral palette with creamy yellow walls which pick up the color in the sofa. Now a lot of the stuff that you're going to see in here has been donated by customers, uh, Homes of Oak Ridge, friends of Homes of Oak Ridge and the other items that you've seen have been repurposed by Hal and I and uh, donated by Don Short at West End Architectural Salvage. Um, as you can see here, this was a desk. And it's actually a walnut desk with some leather top, and we went ahead and spray painted it this nice sagey green color to help pop the colors in the sofa, as well as the old antique ceiling tins that we actually took and framed up. So the greens and the yellows are really playing well here. We've repurposed an old trunk for a coffee table and you can see we just took some an old railing off of a porch, attach it to the bottom, it makes a great coffee table, it's a nice flat surface. And actually in the kitchen here, how not much, but since this is a, gonna be used as their laundry centers, of course they have a small basket here for any of their laundry detergents and whatnot. And here for magazines, we've taken an old register cover from an old home and put it with some old wainscoting, and now it's a great magazine holder. So, let's go into the bedroom. We'll show you what we did there. And a nice homey picture that we brought in to kind of warm up the place. And here's the bedroom. It turned out really great. Wow. We had this grid work at the shop, and it's been sitting up on the third floor for a long time. It actually came out of an old department store as one of their displays. So we had we did a little bit of distressing on this, sanded it off. We took a piece of regular, just a, a thin paneling uh, plywood piece, painted that, and attached it to the back here to add that pop of color but at the same time marrying the color scheme from the living room into the bedroom. Then we took the old ceiling tin tiles once again to continue the theme and hung them in here for another element of design and color. It kind of gives you a little bit of a contemporary feel with the linear movement, but also brings in that cottage feel, so it's a nice tie-in that's kind of modern yet still kind right. of vintage. Yes, of course we went out and we purchased some new bedding for the person who's going to be living here. And one thing that a lot of people don't know is the Homes of Oak Ridge is set up to help mostly um, the refugees who are coming here to the United States. Most of them, probably 90% of them, come with absolutely nothing. So that's why it's so important to have everyone in the community and local business owners come together and help this project work for everyone that's coming in. So. Um, here we have a, an antique parlor table. Went ahead, we sprayed it, distressed it a little bit, and once again the, the yellows all marry with the, in, with the living room. And just even just little hints of color here can just bring all your rooms together. Very nice, very nice. So, Joey, tell me a little bit about the window treatments. The window treatments are actually a really inexpensive and cool way to add another uh, textural element to any room. These are simple flat sheets that we purchased at the store and you can actually buy the rings and they have little clips on them. They're spring-loaded clips and all you do is you take those sheets and clip them every 10 inches or so and once they're gathered no one can tell the difference if they're not expensive drapes, but it's a great inexpensive way to add 
a homey feel to a home. It gives you some texture and some interest at the window. It does. And also, too, um, in this situation here, we took the drapes a little bit higher to give the room a um, larger feel, you know, yep. to expand the ceiling and the floor. So yes. it helps to tie in with the white. It keeps it light and airy. Yep. And then for and function, of course, then they have the mini blinds that they can pull when they need to. They do. They Yeah, these can actually close and whatnot. They can draw these if they would like to, but... Once again, it just keeps everything nice and light and right. airy and, and fresh. Exactly. So it's very welcoming. Yep. And then we flanked it um, with this really beautiful walnut dresser that we've had at the store for a long time. Yes. And, um, great storage. Great storage for them. Um, also, just put a few accessories on here. A nice little lamp on the, uh, the dresser. It will give some ambiance and stuff like that. And then this here is a piece that Keaton Rogers, who works for us, built. Um, just simple wine bottles. Um, added to some barn board um, and slight or attached at an angle um, and then what you do is you just go ahead and we put water in these bottles and you can put fresh flowers in them and things like that so it adds a whole nother element and almost a three-dimensional feature so yep. all right anything else you want to talk about joy actually the only thing in this room has the old ceiling light fixtures oh yeah let me turn around here and okay. we'll get those a little bit too these once again it's almost like its own piece of artwork these are actually 1930s uh, ceiling light fixtures. You can see where the bulbs actually went at one time, but this is a pair that we had gotten in, and it makes it cute. You still have the finials on here. The colors were perfect to bring into this room, and very complimentary, but once again, it's very homey. Very so. good. And then Joe, let's just do briefly into the bathroom, just kind of show yep. how we brought the yellow in there. And um, the bathroom was done very, very minimally because it is a smaller scale bathroom. But, you know, we did just do a few pops of accessories in here. Some small little women's, I would call them like, what, Joe, handkerchief containers or jewelry or whatever. Right. Well, a lot of it was for actually uh, makeup, powder, hairpins, whatnot. But once again, it has the pops of greens and the yellows along with the shower curtain. It's a new shower curtain that we purchased, but um, by keeping it light, same color theme, everything goes together, and with the print, it actually opens up this whole space. Very good. So anyway, everybody, this is Hal and Joe. Hey. And um, you can see this on the YouTube. Um, yep. We'll try to download this today and get it on there. But uh, feel free to come through. Um, you can go online to the Homes of Oak Ridge. You can hear what they have to say about the program, um, what the events um, will be taking place, what, when, where, and who. Um, so stay tuned, and um, we appreciate you following us today. Thank you.